Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, June 21st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, on Sunday session, we saw this drop roughly 5% down to 33,385 before rallying up towards the middle of the bullish band. We're still underneath the middle of the bullish band and it is we're still trading within this uh, within this square. So we can write it up here around this area here, the highs of roughly uh, 40,000 down to 30,000 give or take. So yes, $10,000 range if we manage to break above here, then we're looking at 50, break below the 30, then we're looking at 20. So that's probably as easy as uh, that. At the moment, we have a crossing up the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. Usually this uh, golden crossing, and that is usually a very bearish sign for, for any market. Um, so whether or not we get rejected at the 20 exponential again, that could drop this down to 30. And if that basically breaks, then 20 will will uh, will see 20 really really fast, and there will probably be panic selling, and uh, we could see this market drop significantly lower. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, uh, stochastic is uh, right at the signal line, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum as well is finding uh, finding massive resistance at the 20 exponential. We have been rallying, rallying, and then just going lower, lower towards the 200 moving average. We don't have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 like we have in Bitcoin. It is quite far off as well as the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. And uh, this could be a gradual grind to the 200 moving average down at 1840. In the English, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish, uh, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. So 20 exponential is the, is the highest of this market at the moment, and the 200 moving average should be the bottom. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano is also struggling at the 20 exponential. We can see that it rallied here, broke down, and now we're trying to rally again and probably will get rejected as well. So if we get rejected, then 1.28 is um, support down towards $1 as well. And to the upside, it's basically around 1.880, give or take. You can see that here and here and as well here. That has been an area of resistance. Break below the 200 moving average, and then this really takes to, the, to drop to the downside, probably to a 0.5. Technically, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish at this point. Definitely, momentum is to the downside. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin continues to drift lower. We are trading at um, give or take um, uh, 153 at this point. We were down all the way down to 142. Um, 20 exponential is offering quite a lot of resistance. And as long as that is the case, this is just going to drift lower and lower. We are on the edge of being oversold, but as long as we don't manage to break above the 20 exponential and not even the 200 moving average, this will most likely drift lower towards the previous lows here at 117. We are, it looks like we're going to have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average as well. And usually that is a very bearish sign. If the the previous lows here break, then we can see 100 and then significantly lower to the previous lows before this rally at around $40, $50. So let's look at NEO. So NEO, very similar, uh, has dropped below the 200 moving average. We're most likely going to have a crossing of the uh, 20 and the 200 moving average, um, indicating more bearish momentum to this. Uh, if we break the previous lows over here, that is roughly at uh, $35, we can drop towards the 25 and then probably 20 and even lower than that. It, the 250 moving average is also raising towards the uh, 200 moving average, and that usually is also a very, very shine. 
Technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bullish in negative territory, the stochastic is bullish, the CGI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at Dash. So Dash is very similar to the other cryptocurrencies um, like Litecoin and NEO and so on. 20 exponential, you try to test it here, test it again around the here, and it looks like we're going to test it yet again around 167. If we get rejected there, then we could drop back towards 121. And if that breaks, then 100 and even lower than that will come into play. So there's just not that much um, momentum in this cryptocurrency market as it was uh, prior to basically this crash here. So uh, MACD is um, bullish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at Dogecoin. Yes, a gradual grind towards a 200 moving average down here at 0 0.14. That is kind of what we are looking at this mo at this moment. We have occasionally tried to rally. It has completely failed. Last time we did that, we saw it here. We saw it here and saw it as well here. And now we're just grinding towards the 200 moving average. Moving average. That kind of looks like what we are seeing here. Doesn't mean that we will not have rallies like this. It probably doesn't, uh, rallies that is, we will see that, but these rallies, that is probably something that we will not see in the next uh, a very, very, very long time. So the 200 moving average is at 0 0.14. If that breaks, then we are dropping significantly lower, back towards 0 0.06 and so on. Break above the 20 exponential, open the door to the 50 at 0 0.38. And then if we break above the 50, then we could go to a half a dollar and then beyond that. Technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck and thank you very much.